What's up everyone? Today we are going to be doing a little shootout between the previous Xperia 1 Mark IV and the new Xperia 1 Mark V. So Sony talks a big game about the, uh, the new sensor on the 1 Mark V and how good it is in low light. So we're going to do a friendly little shootout between the two and see if we can, you know, tell if there's a really big difference, if it's worth upgrading or not. And by no means is this a very scientific test. We're just going to be taking side by side shots with more or less the same settings. We're going to be focusing primarily on basic and auto mode today. So we're not going to dive into comparing manual mode one to one just like that. But yeah, hopefully these will be some examples for you guys. I'm going to be sure to upload all of the files as well so you can download them and uh, get them all blown up and big, look at them side by side, really go into it. And without further ado, let us head outside. So like I mentioned before, we're going to be taking both devices out here, the One 5 and the One 4, and we're going to put them head to head to see just which one really is better in low light and if getting the Xperia 1 Mark V is really worth it for that new sensor over the One Mark IV. So let's get right into it. So today is going to be focused mostly on auto mode because I do plan on going out uh, another time actually and doing like a street photography session using both phones. And in that case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to shoot the normal way I do, which is in manual. And I'm going to just use the, uh, the settings that I want to use for each shot. And then we'll see uh, how they look head to head when that video comes around. But yeah, for now, the main focus is, of course, in auto mode and of course, using mostly the main camera since that is the biggest difference between the two. a couple of basic portraits of me I'm not gonna do any fancy posing or anything but as you can see right here for sure there is absolutely like no light around us so we're gonna see which one can maybe come out better in terms of very low light portraits Thank you guys so much for watching. Like I said, not a super scientific video or anything like that. Just going out and having some fun, taking some low light shots. But if you are interested in any other kind of content, maybe comparing the two devices, do leave a comment down below and I will do the best I can. 
I do plan on waiting a little bit longer before I get into like an actual review of the Mark V. I want to make sure I know all of the ins and outs and have everything nailed down for that video. And yeah, like I said, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys want to see. And thank you for watching and remember to stay hydrated and stay healthy.